Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all. Today, I am talking about Hitman, a Netflix original movie. Movie directed by Richard um, Linklater. Um, actors starring in it are Glenn Powell and um, Adria or or Hono, and and many others to the cast here. In the movie, pretty much following Gary Johnson, who is a teacher, and he also works part time for the police, going doing undercover work um, as a hitman. And the pe people people who wanted to kill whoever hire him, and then they give him the money. They say they want blah 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 blah, and then the police come and arrest him. Because they, what they're doing is illegal. And so, he, 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 he doing this, he, he's pretty good at it. Because the thing is, though, since he's a teacher, he's, he's, very, um, he, he's very smart. He does the research. He does the research about the, who, who the person is, gets a little bit of their backstory. And then he pretty much transforms himself into somebody who they believe will be a hitman. And so he changes everything about so his appearance, how he talks, and his accent, and all that too. And then he meets this, this one woman named um, Madison. Who played by a a a Adria, and she's well, extremely beautiful, and she looks like she's in an abusive relationship, and she's scared, and he's just, he, he he sees her, she's going, she's going down a bad path, so he tries to pretty much he he convinces her not to go not to go through with this, not to go through the the, um, the, the hit, and so he thinks things are gonna go um, go oh thinks everything okay, but he ends up dating her as the as the person who she met, as this Ron character who he, he created. And 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 and, and, you, and he starts to fall in love, and, and 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 then things get complicated because now he's starting to blur the lines between Ron and um and Gary, and he's not so sure who is who anymore, and things just go wacky from there. Now, now this, this, this whole movie is loosely based off a true story. Now I don't know how much of it is true or not true, but this is Hollywood, so take take, take um take the take the true story part with a grain of salt. I mean, if, if that person probably. Did, did exist and he did and he did do this because they did show him a picture of him at the end of the movie. What what, ha what happens later on? Did that happen? Most likely no. But I but I but the thing what he did do it did happen. But overall, so this sort of, before I get so get into the good stuff, let's start with the bad. I don't really have a little lot of bad things to say about the movie because it, it actually surprised me. I was I was thinking, I, I thought I might enjoy it because I, I did enjoy the trailer. I thought the concept was very interesting. I just didn't think. I, I thought it would be just okay. I thought, I thought it would be like a fun little Netflix movie. I, I said, I said but overall, I actually really did enjoy this movie a lot. Way more than I, than I thought. Cause it really comes down to Glenn Powell. So let's, let's start off with the good stuff then. I, I don't think we have any, anything bad to say about the movie. Not, not really. So let's start off, let's start off with, the, with the good. Let's, let's, let's end up with the good one. Glenn Powell is the key to this whole entire movie. And also the relationship he has with Adria, Adria and their chemistry between one another is just great. But mostly him, because because you see him transform into all these different people, and and watching him like enjoy playing these characters as well too, make you have fun watching them. And then when you see him going down this darker path, you know, oh no, you can't help but, but go down there with him because you, you just gotta see where this is gonna go, how this is gonna end up, the twist in here as well. You just oh no, I just how far is he willing to go for this money? Who he, who he's in love with? Who's may not be on the right side of the law? I ah. Oh. Like, and, how, and his sacrifices he's willing to make to, to himself to be to help somebody else, and also the struggle, also the struggle between himself between his like um his id and his his true self as well. Because you got Gary, then you got Ron. Both of them are uh, him in some type of way, but the, the way he comes up with these stories and make up these like lies so quickly about who, who, who he, how he kills people and he never killed anybody at all. He's not even a violent man, and so just to see this. See him transforming these different people. It's just fun to watch, and I really, I really do enjoy it a whole lot. As a, as a scene, and you got the, you got the, um, the supporting characters in here as well too. You got Rita, um, so so J um, or Rayo, and I really do enjoy them as well as back um as, as um as um side characters. I really do enjoy them. You, you don't really get to know them excuse me, that much, and you also have you also have Austin, uh, who plays Jasper. He's also now he was the um the undercover cop at first. Before he got replaced, because but the thing is though, nobody liked him because he came out very arrogant, he's a little bit of a jerk. He's he he he, like, he, he does he doesn't mean like follow orders that well either. He doesn't play by the rules either. So so when they got Gary, the play, who was also really good at it, he kind of he kind of got replaced. You see the jealousy between the two characters, and even though he was more the, the annoying character on the show, I still didn't like I still didn't hate him, and I thought his acting performance actually was still good as, as well too. None, none none of the actors, even though like I said, you don't get a lot from everybody. But, I, but the, the performances that they do bring to the table is actually quite enjoyable as, as well. So they feel like they feel like people. So, 
overall, I had a, I had a lot of fun watching this movie. I I, don't, I would highly recommend it. So check check it out you for yourself. I think the movie is great. I'm giving it a solid B. Yeah, I know. I, I liked it way more than I thought I would. I was, I, I was like, yeah. Like, I thought I was going to enjoy it, but I didn't think I was going to like it this much. I was like, wow, it's actually pretty pretty good. It's pretty good. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the trailer for The Hit, the hit Man. If you haven't watched if you haven't watched it, just check it, check it out. It's on Netflix. Watch it anytime you want to. Enjoy it in, in the comfort of your home. And let me know what you thought about it. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So, give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up. Shaboo. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Also, links down below. And that's my social media. You want to follow me there. I really do appreciate it as well, too. And also, to, and also to my stories about selfie, my shirts and socks, and everything else and whatnot. See some stuff, buys and stuff. I really would appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams and my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. Uh, peace.